Kids are back and hopefully we're recording after fiddling with our 16 gig of RAM laptop which has got solid state hard drive, very sexy, i5. Okay, now today Map Parker Tutorial Services there to help students with the coursework, teachers with their admin and businesses get their IT systems off the ground. We're looking at how to read to and write from a text file in Python. And for once, I'm ahead of my little writing person. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at creating the necessary files. Now this is really, really straightforward. In essence, what you need are two things. You need two files, one to read from the, from the text file, the other one to write to the text file. We're going to look at the file that writes first. The write file, the first thing it does, it opens the file ready for writing. Now we're going to look at how we can change that on the next slide. Then it prompts the user for some inputs. Then it leaves a line and enters the data that the, the, the user has inputted. And then it closes the file. Really that simple. Next thing, permissions. Write is a very dangerous permission to give people because it allows the user to overwrite the existing file. Append is much better, it adds something to the end of a file. Read we're going to use for the last file which allows us to read from the text file itself. So that leads us nice and neatly onto step three which is the read file. This code underneath goes into the read file. First thing it does is it opens the file in read mode. It prompts the user for some input and then disregards the case. That's a function you guys should be aware of. It then uses a for loop to look for where the lines are divided. In this case, we're going to divide the lines by commas. It then assigns the username column, the first column, line zero. We then have a simple if statement. If the two things match, then that column is called name. And then we're going to print the username with the word welcome. If not, the file will close. Now, having taken all that in, you should be ready for a challenge, like Rocky. We're gonna have two programs, just like before, and what I'd like you to do is, I'd like it to prompt the user for a high score, so for the username and high score, and then when the person searches using the read file, it should display the username and high score. And that's it guys, the files you might need are below, thanks for listening.